Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Boy and this is Matab. He's one of my students in my class. And my class, 6B, have been learning about different Asian countries and the similarities and differences they have with Australia. Matab and I have been looking at Uzbekistan. Matab, can you tell us a little bit where Uzbekistan is in the world? It's in Central Asia. It's between Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. Okay, terrific. So we are going to start by looking at the Including religion. Including Afghanistan. And Afghanistan. We're going to start by looking at some of the religions in Uzbekistan and Australia. So Matab, take it away. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the Uzbekistan and Australian religions and what they have in common and what's different. Okay. So 95% of the population are Islam in mm. Uzbekistan yep. and Australia has 50% two percent of the population are christian there are muslim people in australia and christian people in uzbekistan also yeah and what can you tell us about the types of government that they have in each country mm, uzbekistan's type of government is a presidential unitary gov i mean republic um, uzbekistan used to belong to the soviet union until 1991, they became a republic with the president as the head of the country. Both countries are democratic. Australian type of government. What am I saying? Yep. Parliamentary, representative, democracy, constitutional, federal, monarch. Whoa, that's a lot. What does that all mean? It means in the so because Australia uses too much systems. Too many systems, okay. This but, means we are a commonwealth nation, so the queen is technically in charge. She, however, she allows our prime minister and governor general to lead the country. Ah, interesting. Okay, and finally, we're going to look at the imports and exports of both countries. So, what do you know about those, Matab? So, Uzbekistan's main imports are fit, um, mm, yep. machines, equipment. Food, metals, exports are gold, petroleum gas, non-retail pure cotton yarn, refined cotton, ethylene polymers. Australia's main imports are refined petroleum, cars, crude petroleum, broadcast, broadcasting equipment, delivery, delivery trucks. Whoa, wow. Exports are iron ore, liquid field, natural gas, oil and gas, gold and other non-ferrous metal processing, meat processing, grain growth. Oh wow, so grain I can growth. see that there's some similarities and differences there, both um, export gas, which is one of them. Terrific. Well that's it from Matab and I, I hope you've learned something about Uzbekistan and what similarities it has with Australia. See you later.